Today, I'm excited to share with you my designer bag collection for 2023. To be honest with you, I have been putting this off for the longest. I didn't even do one last year, but I was like, no, nah, I can't do that this time. So my collection truly represents my passion for fashion and luxury and all things old and vibrant. I'll take you through each bag, the current price, all of that good jazz. And while you're here, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any luxury videos I post such as this one. Let's get started. I have 45 bags to get through, so we're gonna move as fast as possible. But the first brand I have to share with you is Balenciaga. Unfortunately, a lot of people, you know, canceled them, but I still have bags in my collection. I didn't sell them. I sold one of them, but I didn't sell my bags because, I mean, I still love my bags and I spend my money on them and I'm not gonna sell them and get pennies for them. So that's just how it is. So the first one I have is this crush bag. In tomato red this is what it looks like and it has silver hardware i will be trying all of these on 42 if i haven't already but i really like this one um it just feels weird to say that because <laughs> velociaga but i still i mean i do i love the shape this hourglass shape i love the color of it that's a really nice bag you know i just don't promote them on social media anymore for the time being but this is what it looks like I do have a bag organizer, but it's pretty roomy inside. It has a back zipper, a couple of pockets, and all of that. It's just nice. I don't know what happened to my dust bag, though. It just disappeared. It's supposed to be in here. I'm gonna have to find it. But anyway. So I have a thing for this shape, okay? So this is the small hourglass top handle bag. This is in washed blue. It is denim. And that's what this looks like. And it just has like different patches of different shades of denim, distressed, light, stone wash, dark, silver hardware, as you see, denim top handle as well. And then it has these rhinestones on the back. I do know that with this design, the back is different because they kind of use recycled denim for this. So it's not gonna all be the same bag. They have different things on the back of each one. I just got lucky getting the rhinestones in the back of crystals, but haven't had any issues with it yet. That's what the bottom looks like. It has a bottom denim pocket or whatnot back pocket too if i didn't share that and the interior all of them are basically the same this one has a wide opening and an interior zipper here also has a longer crossbody strap too this is the sneaker head bag and i got this in black i was so excited when i got this because it's so me and a bag is edgy it is tomboyish it is edgy feminine, you know, does have slight feminine vibes to it, but it's basically like a sneaker throughout. I did sell most of my sneakers, by the way. I have a few pairs left, but the this, you know, is reminiscent of their sneakers, their trainers. Has lace detailing, black, matte black hardware. As you see in the bees, matte mesh leather, or faux leather, I think. I don't even think it's real leather, I don't think. I could be totally wrong, don't quote me. But it's super detailed, structure and everything. Same idea with the large opening interior zipper and everything. This is a great, or was a great addition to my collection and I was excited for this when it came out. Continue with the same shape. This is the mini top handle hourglass bag. And this is in the shade neon pink. This one has silver hardware, it has the croc texture. It has a little mini back pocket, do you see that? And obviously, <laughs> there's very minimal things you could do with this based on the size. But it does have a longer crossbody strap. It comes with that. And that's just my dust bag in here. I keep that in all of my bags. And it has a little slim back pocket. You could put cards or whatnot in there. And although it looks super small, it does hold the bare essentials, cards, gum, keys, the bare essentials. And I just think it's adorable. It's a nice color too. I actually bought this um, right before we canceled Balenciaga and I got it on sale. That's even better. Most of my Balenciaga bags I got on sale, by the way, with the exception of the hourglass bags, except for one of them, I got on sale. But this is the Bistro 
Double extra small woven basket bag in optic white. It's the perfect beach bag. Has a little small tag that says Balenciaga. That's easily discreet. If I don't want people to know it's Balenciaga or if people know what it is, you know, okay. The handle is pretty cool because it's like a foam cord. I remember Bottega Veneta came out with this, with sandals that had this, but this is much more practical because they're sturdy. They stay in place. And also this is an easily wipeable material. It's not like regular straw that's hard to clean. And then that's what that looks like. Large room interior. One thing that's a bit of a turn off with this, it doesn't zip or close. It's kind of wide open. So you kind of have to be careful for traveling. But that's what the interior looks like. It's pretty roomy, interior zipper, and also a longer crossbody strap. This is also removable. It's just a bit trickier to remove it. But yeah, you can do it. So technically this is Gucci's bag, but I'm going to share it with Balenciaga because obviously it's an hourglass style since we're talking about that shape. But this is the Hacker Project hourglass bag. Came out with the Gucci and Balenciaga collaboration. They don't want to call it that, but it's basically a collaboration, all right? Top handle, GG logo all over throughout. The same back pocket is literally the hourglass bag. And then it has like antique gold hardware, as you see bronze, whatever you want to call it. Same idea with the interior. Um, Gucci on the interior, actually. And then this part. And then if you go to this side, it's actually Balenciaga print. Let me see if I can show you. It's kind of difficult to show you. Whoops. It's like impossible. Oh my God. I'll just show you the bottom. See that? Let me back up. Can you see it? Yeah. So yeah. It's pretty cool. Same long crossbody strap as with the others. I also have the Mio Classic City mini bag. This is in the shade blue and that's what it looks like. It is leather, has silver hardware. This is like an updated version of the Neo, or not the Neo, the City Bag. This version is more structured. The original City was more slouchy, more relaxed. And this also comes with a longer removable crossbody strap. This has a large interior as well. Interior slit pocket on the inside, as you see. This is the Neo Classic City Nano Bag. And this is in the shade fluorescent green. That's what that looks like. Silver hardware, same idea as the other one, except it's a smaller version. I'll even hold them side by side just so you can see the difference, but that's what they look like. This one holds quite a bit, believe it or not. Even though it's a nano bag, it still holds a good bit. And an interior, there is no, well, it does have one slip pocket. It's tiny though. You could put cards in there and it has a long across the body strap that's also removable for this one too. This is the Mini Jody in white in the Seattle leather. Although this is white, it doesn't look dirty. Like a lot of white bags that you buy can look start looking dingy, but I haven't experienced that with this one. It still looks pretty white and a few places are starting to darken a bit, but it still looks pretty white and crisp, which I really like. That's why I really wanted this. I have never had a white designer bag. The one I had from Saint Laurent was an off-white and this was a pure crisp white. And I really wanted one. I have another white bag too, I'll share with you, but this has gold hardware and it's just so cute. And I love this. I want multiple colors, but they're so expensive now. So expensive. I thought it stopped recording. I was about to freak out. This is gonna be a long video, so I don't know any errors. We have the Mini Jody metallic leather bag and chlorophyll. So this is what that looks like. It's like this gorgeous, shiny metallic green. And as you know, green is one of my favorite colors. It's not my favorite. I still haven't quite made a decision whether I like green or orange better. Silver hardware. And I just love how carefree this is. It doesn't show any scratches. You know, you can't really damage. I mean, you can damage it. Don't get me wrong, but it's a lot 
less having it than the Entrustia leather version of this bag, which I'm about to show you in just a bit, but this is so cute. Finally moving on. Speaking of Bottega Veneta, we have three. I have the Panic Cassette in light orange. All those light orange, there's nothing light about it. This is pretty vibrant orange to me. It's just orange, not really light, but that's the name of the color. I got this a few years ago. I still need to post my update video. I still really love this. It has gold hardware, gold triangle, whatnot. That's what it looks like. And then the interior, I do have a bag insert, but pretty roomy inside. It's so soft. I haven't had any issues with it. It still looks in great condition and I still love it. One from Burberry. This is the Kassan Check e-canvas belt bag in birch brown. And it's a belt bag. I love this so much more than a Louis Vuitton bum bag. I know I'm probably in the 1%, but I just think it's more unique. It's more affordable and it's just all around better. It has this large zipper here. that's easy to get into and out of. And it has this, this inner slip pocket here. Um, of course my dust bag, and then it has this bag zipper pocket. So it's pretty similar to the bum bag. And one thing I wish I could change about it, I wish it didn't have this like utility looking strap. I wish it was like, I don't know. I guess it's okay. Cause it is more of a laid back bag. So this was originally, I believe in the men's line, but I think they've since moved this print to women's smart because it's made for both in my opinion. Also, if you're enjoying this video, please like and subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos. I post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so be sure to subscribe. I have one from Celine. This is the Nano Belt Bag in Malachite. And I mean, what can I say? It's not still in style, but that don't matter to me. It doesn't matter to me. I still really like this bag. I love the color of it. It is the perfect travel bag. I've taken it on a couple of trips and had it be my only bag. It goes with more than you think. It's a gorgeous green color. Just flaps open here. You can put your strap here, which is inside. Oh. What the hell? Postpartum support. Why is that in there? Oh gosh, what else is in there? Okay, that's it. But that's a long interior strap. Of course, I have my bag insert. Very roomy inside. Very, very roomy. It's one of my more practical bags in my collection. Three Chanel bags. This is the Trendy CC in the Tiffany Blue, I believe from um, 20P, and they call it light blue lambskin, but it's Tiffany Blue. This is a color that a lot of people are obsessed with, that a lot of people are, were looking for at one point, might still be. This is a bag that would never leave my collection. <laughs> okay, it has a champagne gold hardware, that nice, beautiful gold plate at the top. Oh, it's just everything. This back pocket. Oh, longer strap. This pulls out. I hate to do it because I'm not going to be able to get it back in, but um, that's what it looks like. Very roomy inside. Two pockets here, a lipstick pocket in the middle there in between. And it's just nice. It's just really nice. I love this. It's probably my favorite Chanel bag that I have. Even though I only have three, but yeah. <laughs> And probably will continue to have three because of these prices. Unless I go secondhand. This is the Chanel 19 small from 21P. Yes, 21P. And it's that caramel color that everybody obsessed over the first release. I actually think I like the second version better, but I still really like this version too. It's like this. It's not really caramel, I mean, it's more of a, butter, a butterscotch. They should have called it that. But this has gold hardware, mixed metal, back pocket, 
this will never leave my collection either. I still really love it. And a large interior, extremely large interior. Well, not extremely, but it holds everything I needed to and then some. I did originally have the medium and large one, but it's too big for my liking. I don't like big bags, I just don't. And it just looked, it just looked ridiculous on me, in my opinion. Last we have the, so I'm going back and forth on what size this is. Some people told me extra small, some people told me mini, some people told me small. I have the small cocoa handle and denim for you. This launched in night or 19 piece. So it came out in 2019. Got this in Paris. No, London, London. This has silver hardware, darker denim, back pocket, silver hardware. I think I said that already. <laughs> Interior, big enough for what I needed to be for. Interior zipper, a little slot, a uh, divider compartment here. Longer strap that is removable. I still really like this one. This one I will never part with. It's one of the more unique bags in my collection. I don't have any other darker denim bags, so it's nice. One Dior bag, for now, spoiler alert. This is the Saddlebag and Clement Lodge Green. You know me, you know I love green, you know I love camouflage. This should not be a shocker. We'll never leave my collection. Gorgeous. Back pocket that's actually functional. These are super expensive now. I didn't pay that much for it when I got mine, but they're super overpriced now. Interior. One turn off with this bag, it does not come with a longer strap. So basically you have this strap and that's it. You have to buy an additional strap to make it longer, but you can wear it on the shoulder. I just didn't like it. I need to wear this more, but just because I don't wear it that much don't mean I'm getting ready to part with it because it is one of my favorites. It's one of those special bags that you kind of have to wear with certain looks. One from Dolce & Gabbana for now. This is the small Sicily shoulder bag in camouflage, go figure. And I have been looking for like a true, that one's camouflage, but it's not camouflage, you know, like this. This has like green, black, brown, khaki, all the shades of camouflage. And I think it's really adorable. The size looks tiny, but it holds basically what I needed to. I don't think I've reviewed this bag. I need to do that. Oh my gosh. Black crop leather. Top handle that does move back and forth out of the way if you need it to. Longer crossbody strap that is removable. And then has Dolce & Gabbana Sicily made in Italy. And then you have your interior. I just think it's cute. And it's true camo, it's true camouflage. I had one from Celine, but it says Celine on the front and I kind of got over that, but I'm so glad I found this one on its own. Three Fendi's for now. I should have one en route. I was like, should I wait to film it? But I'm like, no, I need to do this video. Let me stop bullshitting around. But this is the Fendi baguette in multicolor. It has brown leather, gold hardware, a brown leather trim, brown handle. Also, it does have a longer strap too. It's brown leather. Not quite crossbody, although you could kind of wear it as such, I think. I think you could kind of squeeze it up there, but it's gonna run short on you, obviously, but large interior. I do have an insert in here, but it's also a long interior pocket. So that's what that looks like. One of my favorites, one of my favorites by far is unique. Not many people have it, which is always a selling point for me. I also have the Midi midi baguette this is from the fendi skims collection this is in the shade purple it's purple fabric now don't let that fool you because the fabric is actually quite nice it is not cheap fabric this has silver hardware too in case you want to see a comparison i don't think i did a comparison of the two i might need to do that comparing these two because they're both very different but similar but i really like both in any case 
but I have a bag insert in here for you too. This one, however, this one you can do crossbody. It's not removable though. You can either double it up. You can either do a singular or you can do your shoulder. Or you can do crossbody. So so different options with that. And then you have your interior. If I can get this out. It does have an interior slip pocket and then a large opening too. But as I mentioned, I do have an insert to protect that fabric we speak of. I have this nail baguette charm in this FF canvas. Gold hardware has a longer gold strap too. But I also have this nano baguette leather charm from the Fendace collection, the Fendi Versace collaboration as well. It's so special. Gold hardware, gold pin at the top, that's signature to Versace. Gold metallic interior lining. And it also comes with a longer gold strap as well, which is nice. And then it needs to be untangled. So I guess technically we have 47 bags if we're talking about these. So this is another one. This is the Nano Baguette Charm in green nylon from the Summer Vertigo 2021 collection. So special, I love this braided leather charm or handle here. So cute. Yeah, I didn't think so. But it's so cute to just carry around gold hardware. And it still comes with that longer gold strap too that I shared with you in the previous two. That one. One from Ferragamo for now. I'm starting to really like that bags, but this is the iconic top handle in sky blue. It's the most gorgeous, perfect shade of sky blue I've ever seen. Silver hardware, top handle, super structured and divine. Feet on the bottom, <laughs> back slit pocket, unique opening, which may annoy some people, me too sometimes, but nonetheless. It also comes with a long crossbody strap, has those dividers, or that divider, and an interior zipper. Two from Givenchy. This is the Givenchy Antigona Mini in 10. One of my favorites. It is, this is more caramel to me. This is absolutely beautiful. It's the perfect shade for my skin complexion. It actually almost matches my skin complexion. I really like this. Silver hardware too. Although I do, I do think it would look better with gold now, now that I think about it, but I still like it. Nonetheless, extremely large opener. I get my dust bag from out of there. Longer crossbody strap too, and some peppermints, which technically I'm not supposed to have. Because my daughter's allergic. For now. We're clearing most of her allergies. So hopefully she won't be allergic for much longer. But yeah, that's what it looks like. I love it. This is the Micro Antigona in Citrus Green. Much smaller than its little companion, its older sister. Oh, that's so cute. But this one has also a removable longer strap. Double handles here. I did a review on this too, in case you're interested. Longer strap in there. Magnetic closure. Whereas the mini size has a zipper closure. This is the Gucci Mamat small camera bag in light pink. This is my very first designer bag. So special to me. Like an antique gold hardware, longer strap that is not removable. That's why it's tucked. <laughs> Actually, it is removable, I think. Might be tricky to remove it. I don't think it's removable. No, it's just adjustable. But that's okay. I have an insert in there too. I got it a little too late. <laughs> um, it's already pretty soft, but I don't mind the more relaxed look of this. It's not too relaxed, but you can tell I've worn it to death. It goes with so much, this light pink color. It's really nice, I love this so much. It's one of my favorite bags in my collection still.
These are the, the Chiquito mini bags. This one's in khaki, this one's in lavender. Two of these. This one has more of a utility strap. So you that. More utility style straps so is more of a casual bag. Like an antique silver hardware too. They're pretty, I mean, you could put <laughs> cards, keys, hand wipes, it's pretty much it in here. Okay, it's not meant to hold a whole lot. But this one comes with a matching, like a suede croc leather strap. Sorry. Those things in the way, but yeah, long across line strap as well. Super cute. Zarkin was actually it's one of my favorite brands now. I have two Chiquito longs, one in white, one in yellow. And this is what they look like. Very stiff top handles, magnetic closure, gold hardware on both. And they come with a longer crossbody strap, which is nice. That is removable. And this is crisp white, which I really like. And the perfect yellow it comes with a longer strap, too, as you see. I really like these, they're so cute. Now I have the Jacquemus Bambino long. I say for now because I'm considering getting rid of this only because I found the perfect light blue. This one is okay. I just didn't, I don't miss it. I'm not really a fan of the suede. I feel like it's very hard to maintain. I don't like hard to maintain bags. I just don't. But this is what that looks like. No removable strap. Well, you can kind of remove it, but it'll be a pain in the behind to put it back on. See that? Magnetic closure, large long opener. Yes, love them being on long, but it's still cute. I still wear it. It's you know small pocket on the back too. That's pretty useless, but yeah. This is the Palm Springs Mini in the reverse monogram. So cute. I was actually originally going to get the traditional monogram. I'm glad I did. One of the essays taught me to get in this version, and I just think it's super unique. I like it. It's different. Like, I feel like you have to have a certain outfit, kind of like with another bag I mentioned to wear this, but it comes with longer straps too. I just had them tucked in here. You can wear this as a backpack, you can wear it as a crossbody, you can wear it as a shoulder bag, you can wear it as a top handle. There's just so many different ways you can wear it, but it's just super cute. A lot of people have this, but they have it longer. I like this version better. Just do. Also, this front pocket is pretty useless. I don't use it for anything, just for decoration. It's so hard to get in, in, in and out of. It's not even funny. Like, mm -mm, it's not even worth putting anything in there. Maybe if you put like, I don't know, a secret key or something in there that you never have any intention of getting out of here, you can do that. But this is the game on Vanity PM. They have the Vanity PM as a part of their regular lineup, just not in this particular color thing. So this is red, white, black, and like a beige khaki olive color. Gold hardware. This is so cute. Lined with black. Of course, I have a bag insert. I mean, why would I not? <laughs> Comes with a longer strap too, which is nice. It attaches and removes on the side. So cute. It is a bit of a trickiness to open and close it, especially with one hand. You have to use both hands. That could be a pain, but I don't really care. I really don't. It's worth it to me. It's cute. This is my absolute favorite Louis Vuitton bag. This is the Daimé Valisette BB in white monogram. This came out in 2018, I believe. And I just love the colors of this. It goes way more than you believe. Green stripes, red handle, blue luggage tag, silver hardware. They have the Valisette BB in the traditional Daimier print, you know, as a classic or as a permanent part of their lineup. The interior has like a Daimier bean sort of 
lining, even though the darker brown is actually black. That's you see, but I really like this. I wish I had gotten another piece in this print, but I have no idea I would get this much use out of it until I actually got the use out of it. <laughs> Lastly, I have the pochette for this moment. This is in mint. This is a knit in yellow. It has silver hardware too. This also comes with a longer strap. That is a chain strap. And then it has a yellow interior. So it matches the color of the monogram, L's. Although I still really like this bag, I find it very, very hard to style, unless I wear neutrals, which I never do. And also the fact that the Louis Vuitton logo and you know patterns are painted on. I haven't had any problems with them breaking or peeling off, but I do see a bit of creasing, which is annoying, it's such an expensive bag, but they still sell this too in other color combinations. But I do like this one, it's pretty unique. Oh, well, I don't think I'll get rid of it, <laughs> but just thought I'd let y'all know. We're getting somewhere. Moving on to Louis Vuitton. I have the Alma BB and Damier Abine. What? What are you doing? One of my favorites. Uh-oh. We have a scratch. No, we don't. Uh-oh. That's coming off, whatever it is. It's like ice on or something. What the hell? It came right off though, so that's cool. A white paint or something, I don't know. But great condition still, nice and Structured, gold hardware, longer strap to wear it crossbody. Comes with a set or like some keys and a, a lock if you want to lock it, but it's a pain in the behind. I would never. Merely for decoration for me. Merely for decoration. Merely. Seriously. Anyway, one of my favorite Louis Vuitton bags. I love it. And I believe it is a nice classic for them as well. Here I have the multiple set accessoire. I was actually using this, that's why I still have stuff in here. But it comes with three pieces. Um, here's the third piece here. But it comes with a longer crossbody strap. I got the khaki version and it comes with a coin purse here. See that? And then the other two pieces, gold hardware. Even though it's severely overpriced now, I still really like this. I think it's unique. Sort of, because other people have come out with similar styles, but I still like it. I have the Moschino Heart Biker Leather Clutch in red. And it comes with this cute little top handle. I've seen this in so many colors that I want, but I'm like, I really need another one. Or should I just chill and just keep this one? But I just wanted a heart bag. I didn't want to pay an arm and leg for the Chanel one, but I still wanted a heart bag. I still love the biker style of bag. So this was perfect. Had biker and heart in one, which is so cute. And these zippers and buttons actually work, by the way. They aren't just there for no reason. The zippers actually work. Like you could literally zip this up if you want it. Like a jacket and completely hide the logo and make it quiet, which is cool. So yeah, how do you do this? Okay, there we go. And just snap this back. Also, if you don't have to just wear it like this, it comes with a longer strap too. Top zipper, gold hardware. Um, longer strap has a leather chain too. It is removable, but it's so adorable. So you can wear a shoulder, crossbody, top handle, however you want. So cute. Also, you can wear it as a belt bag too, just to let you know because it has this slide slits across, you put your belt loop through there and do it like this. Mm. I have two Prada ones. This is the Prada Redition of Begonia Pink. So many people have tried to buy this off me. It's not happening, no way. Silver hardware, I still really love this one. And it comes with a longer strap. It comes with a pouch on the strap. I just love the color of this one. 
I love this pink. I used to not even like pink, but this one, this bag is just so nice. So nice. I still love it. It's overpriced now, but yeah. I have also the Vela studded leather trim belt bag in black. This is actually my first product bag, I think. Or second. First, this is my first. Very, very relaxed bag. You can wear it to a game, you know, somewhere that's very relaxed. To a stadium, you know, to things like that. It has quite a bit of storage, as you see. Two pockets. Two zippered pockets, too, might I add. And then this is adjustable. So it's literally like a belt. I really like this. It comes in different colors too. I don't think they make a specific style with this does. They do make a similar style like this, but the nylon belt style. This is the blue monogram quilted camera cross body bag in neon yellow. Oh, it's basically killing my light. Like this camera. Uh, the light does not do it justice at all. It's super vibrant. It is super neon, super neon yellow. Longer strap that is not removable. This is why I have it tucked in here. Crossbody, shoulder, tassel. I believe the tassel is removable. No, kind of, but it'll be a pain to put it back on, so I do not recommend it. The strap is adjustable too, by the way. It has a belt type of mechanism. This is the Nikki Baby and this is Crinkled Leather in black. So nice. I don't have to continue to reiterate. This is um, so black hardware, I think you call it or something. Maybe I'm confusing another brand, but it is basically black everywhere. Back pocket that is magnetic. I didn't even know that. Learn something every time I get this back out. But there's this front pocket here. Large interior opener. Of course, I have my bag insert. I got white just for contrast, but you can hold so much in here. It's not even funny. In a slip pocket too. You see that? It's so dark. Maybe you don't, but I don't know. Longer strap, crossbody strap is not removable. Still is a must have, in my opinion. Everybody that has gotten this based on my review video has loved it. I have her incomplete, so that should tell you. This is the Toy Lulu Puffer in denim. That's what this looks like. It's more of like stonewashed denim with antique gold hardware. This is going up severely in price too. Saint Laurent has in general. I feel like all brands across the board have. I don't know why I keep saying that. But this is what it, it does have a longer strap. It's not removable or anything. That's what it looks like. Is it Actually, you can take this out. Oh, wow. And you can wear it as a clutch. I don't see myself ever doing that because I'm not a clutch type of person. But um, very roomy interior. And it is lined with uh, some sort of material, like fabric, it's not leather, but interior zipper too, which is nice. <music> Lastly, we have this one from Valentino. This is the medium rock stud bag in neon blue. And this is super cute, silver hardware. That leather is just everything. I've had any issues with the studs falling off, which is nice. That's what it looks like. This one has a longer chain strap. I did get rid to kind of compliment. Um, I don't know what I compliment actually. Oh yeah, I know I saw it somewhere. It has red leather on the inside, red zipper. So I got the insert to kind of compliment that. But the chain for this is completely chain, or the strap for this is completely chain. I wish it wasn't. But this is how it is. And it is a bit more of a dressier bag, so I guess that's why they did that. But nonetheless, it's cute, it's adorable. Mm -hmm. The 
Remember, fashion is not just about the labels. It is the style and confidence that comes with it. Hopefully, this has inspired you to have your own unique style. I've been told my collection is unique, and I'm proud of that because they are truly bangs that I love, not necessarily what everybody else has. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any fashion and luxury videos that I post. Let me know what you think in the comments if you want any of these, if you think there's others that are my style that I should take a look at. And I'll leave another one here in case you missed it. Talk soon.